Well, well. Hard to believe it's already time again. Oh, it doesn't really feel like it's been ten years since the last sacrifice. Or wait. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sure it hasn't been. What year is it? Huh. So you're doing it early. Eh, not that it really matters to me. I'll usually come any time the signal fire is lit. What's the occasion? Oh, right. The, uh, the famine. Oh, so I guess this is about putting an end to all that, right? Well, I suppose I can't complain. You look like you'll do nicely as a sacrifice. Aww, oh, what's with that face? You're so frightened. You know, if you weren't all tied up, I'd think you'd run away from me, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's cute. Though I suppose I do strike an imposing figure. I mean, let's see. How many times bigger than you am I? Do you suppose? Is it, uh, 10? 20? Well, in the end, it doesn't matter. You're not going anywhere. You're all mine now. Although, I'm curious why you were chosen. I heard that people usually considered becoming a sacrifice to be a great honor. Why are you so unwilling? Hmm. Well, how unlucky for you. It's a nice change of pace for me, though. I always thought it was funny that the sacrifice didn't feel like they were sacrificing much. You know what I mean? Ha! <laughs> you got me there. You can't sacrifice much more than your whole life. Especially when it's for nothing. Oh! Guess I let that slip. Well... You were gonna find out sooner or later, and there's nobody around, so I'll let you in on a little secret. You see, my little sacrifice, I'm not the guardian spirit your people think I am. <laughs> I'm no way responsible for famines or the weather or anything else. You all made that up on your own. No, I'm from a very far off land. And there are actually many creatures who look like me there. I do some magic, but I don't really use it for the benefit of your kind. I suppose I could grant, uh, you know, better harvest and prevent natural disasters. But there's, uh, not really anything in it for me. You provide, uh, you sacrifices for me even though I don't do anything in exchange. See, I spent a lot of my life wandering before I ended up here. I had always planned on staying here only a, I don't know, short little time while before I started moving again. But then I saw you humans. And you caught my curiosity. So I stayed a little longer to learn about you. Uh, it was lucky for me that I did. After I'd been here long enough for humans to know about me, there was a sudden violent earthquake. And then the locals jumped to the conclusion that I was somehow responsible. Yep, you humans sure are funny things. You'll offer up one of your own in a heartbeat if you think it'll save the rest of you. See, a human came to me, begging to take them in return for turning away my anger. And how could I refuse an offer like that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on! <laughs>
Oh, that bothers you, doesn't it? You were tied up and left for me, and it doesn't even do anyone any good. What? Well, except for me, of course. Oh, how cute. You know, that's what made me want to accept all these sacrifices. You humans are absolutely adorable. It's strange kind of cuteness, I'll admit. Not in the same way as, like, you know, a child or... An animal. It's something totally different. I don't, uh, I don't know quite how to describe it, but it is appealing to me. It's especially precious when you cry like that. <laughs> That's half the reason I've let you humans think I'm gonna eat the sacrifices. Even the proud and willing ones get a little teary-eyed when they think they're a blink away from going down my gullet. Nom nom nom. Well, of course not. How could I eat a little cutie like you? <laughs> Your looks would be going completely to waste. Not to mention, you wouldn't exactly be filling. I mean, look at me. Don't worry, I have a much better fate in mind for you. You're going to be one of my darling little brides. I have all sorts of human spouses, both male and female. But, you know, I'll just call you all brides. It's, you know, more fitting, I think. Well, you can say what you like about whether it's demeaning, but frankly... It's being rather generous. In a real marriage, we'd be equal partners. But I don't think of you as an equal. You're more like, uh, something halfway between like a pet or a servant. Oh, sure. You'll have plenty of chores to take care of. I have an awfully big house and it takes a lot of you tiny little things to keep it clean. And... I'll even play with you. You know, tease you, basically. <laughs> well, actually, I'll do whatever I want with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. I really will. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, I agree. Oh, I agree. It's definitely not fair. But fair or not, it's the way things are going to be. Hmm. Well, if you're so stuck in the idea of fairness, then maybe I can do something for you. I'll put your fate in your tiny little hands. I'll let you go, and all you have to do is leave if you don't want to be my bride. Now, if you stay in the area, I'll assume that, despite what you say, you actually want to come home with me. All right. Let me just do one thing first. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut those ropes. See? You're free. Now just go right ahead and do whatever you like. Oh, how funny. For a second, I thought you were running away from me, but you came right back. Maybe you do want to come home with me after all. Oh, and here you are again. Hmm, well, if you can't bear to be apart from me, then I'll just have to bring you home. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got to bring you home. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am, I am, I'm going to do it. Now, I'm just having a bit of fun with you. One of my more potent spells allows me to bend space in a small area. So, no matter what direction you go, you're just going to end up right back here. Look, I already told you, I don't care about fairness, didn't I? You're not going to change my mind about this. At least, I very much doubt it. Tell me, do you actually have anything to bargain with? Can you offer me anything in exchange for your freedom? Uh, you know, something to equal 
like a lifetime of servitude? I didn't think so. Honestly, I have no idea what gave you the idea that I'm some sort of being to grant a person's heartfelt request just out of the goodness of my heart. I'm greedy, pernicious, and I don't even see humans as equals in the first place. Oh, there's that adorable teary face again. It's so hard for me to tease you when you just look so cute. Alright, alright, listen. It's probably not going to be as bad as you think. I like to tease, but you know, I'm not cruel. At least, you know, I wouldn't call myself cruel. I'm not going to hurt you or anything, okay? I mean, is this really so bad? Sure, you're going to have to work for me for the rest of your life, but you'd have to work for someone else if you stayed, right? Right? There are some perks of being my bride. Well, for one, you wouldn't have to worry about food. Your people might be in the middle of a famine, but I'm doing just fine. My magic keeps the grounds near my home fertile, so my brides are able to harvest plenty of food for us all. And, and, you have other concerns too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Bandits, natural disasters, poverty. There's a lot for you humans to worry about. Like, a lot. But not me. My brides and I live very comfortable lives, and you get to be part of that. I don't think this counts as a true sacrifice, if I'm being honest. Well, think what you like, but you don't really have any say anyway, so your opinion doesn't particularly matter. Woo! Hmm... I think I'm going to enjoy you. At the moment, you don't strike me as someone who's terribly submissive. But you do fear me, and I can work with that. You're fun to tease, if nothing else. And I'm sure that eventually I can bring out a loyal, subservient side to you that you didn't even know existed. Thus far, I've never failed to mold a sacrifice into the perfect bride. See, the crying just makes me want to keep you more. Honestly, you might be the cutest bride I've had in quite a while. Oh man, I'm gonna have a lot of fun making you serve me. Now come on, let's get going. There's a ton of stuff to show you once we get home. <laughs>